Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again for another run. Our streak continues to plummet. Deep, deep down. Deep, deep down. Into the deep dimensions. Anyways, let's go and play as Blue Baby this time around. Blue Baby feels like it's going to be a particularly hard... Um, what the hell is he? There you go. See, it feels like he's going to be a particularly difficult uh, character to play as in Fiend Folio. I think any character that has Soul Heart Health off the bat is going to be harder. But at the same time, we do get Petrified Poop as this guy. And we do get the uh, Red Hearts into um, into Dirty Mind Poops, which I really, really like with this guy. So, very happy to see that. And yeah, I think just giving this guy Petrified Poop, not only is it like kind of a saving grace that makes him actually worth playing... But it, yeah, it gives you a reason to, to keep the poop for a little longer. It doesn't it, it doesn't sort of make it so you have to keep it, but it just gives you a little more of, of a reason to keep it, which I think is good. Okay, what do these guys do exactly? Okay, these guys are like bomb dropping spider boys. Not too hard, not too hard. Whoa, there was two spiders inside that one spider. Excuse me. Um, okay. Not too bad. Oh my god. The dropping animations are so good, but this is a lot of spiders here. I, I really do like these double wave rooms though. They're a bit they're a little bit different, a little bit unique. Got to remember as well, we do have the cheaper devil deal prices with this guy, which is always really, really nice. Uh, we'll see what we get from our item room to start off this run. As for the question of the day to day, mm, that is a little bit of a tricky one. I haven't really got a great one in mind. Ooh, okay. I know it's going to cost us, but I will take the double headless baby. For one, twice the amount of creep is kind of good. Not that it does much because it's going to be overlaid on, over the top of each other, but... It gets us really close to conjoined off the bat, um, so I will take that. And these guys will probably, yeah, die to Headless Baby. They indeed did. Good, good. We're getting decent money here. Oh, God damn it, these bees need to heck off. I don't like them. I don't like these bees, my dude. I don't like these bees. Love those little dirty man fellas. Right. We got the horn here. Not too bad, not too bad. Just got to be careful for these little fellas. But yeah, uh, question of the day today. I've got to have a good think here. Um... What is something? Uh, what what is something that you believe a, a conspiracy that that is kind of controversial? What's something that you believe that you don't think a lot of people believe, or that you think that you'd be judged for believing? And uh, as long as you're okay with being judged in the comment section, I'd be really interested to know. Okay, so this guy. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to blow that up. I was gonna say this guy's dead once we blow up that barrel, but then I accidentally blew it up. I really like the way this champion looks. Kind of got that tainted lost vibe going on. I don't really know if I have any conspiracies particularly like that. And um, we got Torn Page. Some pretty good stuff to start us out here. Um, I will go down to the alt path here. Uh, I did see you there. We get the double petrified poop here. Always find that funny. That that had water and a spider in it. What the hell? I need to remember as well that the uh, using the poop does have a little bit of knockback. Which does make it kind of valuable in combat. Right, what we got straight off the bat here... Belly Jelly is fantastic. Oh, although we missed out on a new item. Damn. I love Regret Pedestals. So good. Um, but but Jelly Belly is insane. It's the best item um, in the game that has a, uh, a chance to negate effects because it can negate contact damage, uh, projectile damage, and bounce the enemies back for damage dealt to them. It's, it's all around very, very good. New Envy scares me. The little heads bounce around so much more like at so much higher speeds than they normally would you gotta kind of be careful when when you kill them because the momentum that you give them is yeah it's a, it sets you on edge a little bit Ooh, okay see this this is where this is where the decisions get difficult i think we keep the poop for this floor but then i think shoop is probably the better pick i think shoop probably becomes numero uma give, give me that coin um, I've had a pretty decent day today. I've, uh, I think I said in the last episode, I might have said in the last episode, I don't remember, um, that my mum is currently over, so we've been doing some various things, and, uh, also, um, it was my friend's birthday a few days ago, so we went out last night to celebrate his birthday. Okay, these guys are gonna do the jumpies. Um, went out last night to celebrate his birthday, which was really nice, went and got some cocktails, and that sort of good jazz, it was very nice. Ooh, I like the way those pits look. Um... And then, yeah, today, just went into the town centre and kind of did some shopping. Because I think I've said multiple times now, I'm going to uh, go on a holiday to Greece at the start of October. Um, and we didn't really do much shopping for it. Unfortunately, we kind of missed the boat, really, because um, we did our shopping today for it. But a lot of the summer stuff is, like, out of, st out of season now. 
so which is surprising but yeah it's all out of season now so there wasn't really any summer stuff available so it's kind of hard to get exactly what we were looking for but we got some good things and then we went to this place um it's it's a a pizza place but it's specifically ooh, that was a bad hit it specifically does um chicago town pizza chicago style pizza and oh my lord is it amazing okay these guys need to get lost could you like jump into the uh into the creep, please. That'd help be helpful. What have we got left here? Got another one of these guys. I don't know where he is. There it is, there it is. Be a little careful here. Got another reflected here. And a good few reflected things going on. Let's try and get ourselves some um some pennies and stuff here though. Make some blue flies going on, that's nice. Yeah, and this 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 pizza was just it was immense. It was so good. Oh, this guy's like a a bomber version of that enemy. I want to see if I can get a secret room here. Oh, they they, they don't actually explode. They flew into farts. Oh, beautiful. Okay, that's enough for the shop. Let's go back and make our way to the shop. I'm just really, I'm realistically hoping more for a soul heart than anything else. But if we could get a good item, I'd obviously be down for that. So let's see if we can. Well, we almost took damage there. That was close. Uh, we actually got quite a lot of good stuff here. I'm a little bit worried just about this room in general. Uh, this is a zero quality item here, so I don't even know if I want that. Can one of you die, please? These guys are taking a beating right now. I mean, I suppose I should buy Mr. Me, because then I can just steal the other thing. But at the same time, I don't need... I'm not going to keep Mr. Me, even though I probably should. Um... It missed me might be worth a steal. Increase the chance for immoral hearts, curse pennies, dire chests, spicy keys, and copper bombs. That's kind of interesting. Um, I kind of like the idea of that. Hmm. Okay, so we've got two sacks here. You may have noticed, I just bought that key. Did not mean to do that. At all. I'm going to be really miffed if I don't get enough money to buy Mr. Me now. Let's go try and find a secret room real quick. Because that is, yeah, that, that's annoyed me. That's annoyed me greatly. I think it's here. It's not, so it's probably... It's not there either. Hmm... Could be to the left of here. Yeah, there you go. There's that. Okay, we got the money back at least. I was going to be very annoyed then otherwise. And then this gives us enough to buy a soul heart as well. So I think we I, I think we do leave the poop here. Um, I'm going to do a quick little thing first though. So let's take Mr. Me. Let's grab that. I maybe could have just taken the battery there, but I really wanted the soul heart. Right, now let's take Mr. Me into the devil deal. Because this... Can it steal devil deals? I can never remember. Let me go and check. Um, Mr. Me. Isaac. Can it steal devil deals? Devil. <laughs> Um, works in shops, devil rooms, and black markets as well. Okay. Nice. I always forget. Right. Yeah, I'm just thinking it might be a good idea to, uh, to try. Okay, this guy's going to die quickly to the creep that we've got going on right now, which is really nice. Um, yeah, see if we can try steal a devil deal before we try and steal that fiend star, whatever it was called. Oh my god, the damage. The amount of creep damage that we just got on him there. Damn it, I cut off a little bit of the map there. And again, bollocks. Okay, made some mistakes there. The creep's killing everything though, don't worry about it. Yeah, oh, and honestly my headless babies are doing a fantastic job. That's really good. It gave us range though, not what we're looking for. But, we can come in here now. And that is... For some reason, asking for a red heart, which I don't really understand. Nice. Okay, we got that for free. Good, good. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, let's go. I don't know why that was asking for a red heart, though. That's really odd. Is this character... Maybe it's just a visual glitch? Anyways, down to the next floor. I think we're doing pretty well here. 
I could have tried to get some more money to get that battery by finding our second secret room there, but with only one bomb, I, I didn't think it was really worth it. Ooh, this is a new enemy to me. Okay, this guy is creating... Is he creating those gas clouds? I think he is. Yes, he is. Okay, that's that's a really cool enemy. He, like, shoots out sort of a, a gaseous blast. I really like these hairy dudes as well. Oh, Jelly Belly just saved my ass. Awesome. I reckon that's going to happen quite a lot. But yeah, we are now missing out on a good amount of money that, we're get, that we would have been getting um, otherwise from having, uh, what's it called? Having the poop. But, I don't know. I think Mr. Me, over the course of a run, is probably likely to give us more value, especially on a four-room charge. I can't believe Mr. Me is only a four-room charge, to be honest. It, it can do so much. Like, so much for you. Can it, can it open? I never remember. I might have to try it after this room and just figure it out. Can it open the boss trap rooms? I think it can. But I feel like I have to test this. It can. See, that's mega. We got two soul hearts and a, fi a fire rate increase for doing that. And we're going to have to fight a boss that really isn't going to be all that hard for us. I mean, two bosses, but like this one's not going to be too hard. I don't know how many waves there is um, in these rooms that have the new Fiendfolio bosses, but we know for a fact this one won't. Because you can see at the bottom, it's not an FF room. It's just it, The room is just called 19. If it's a Fiendfolio room, it'll likely have a longer name, but also it'll say FF somewhere in the name. And that doesn't have this at all, so it won't be any Fiendfolio bosses. We've got this uh, little slinky fella, which honestly, with the amount of creep that we've got set on the floor, I think you're set to... Uh, Die a horrible death. Just create a, a wall of creep here. There you go. Not too bad at all on those guys. And yeah, Mr. Me just got us an insanely good item. Really, really good. Very happy with that. I might blow up the mirror here, to be honest, on this floor to get a, a higher chance of reflected items. One of those reflected items that we got when we got Headless Baby... Um, if you destroy the mirror, you can increase your chance of getting those reflected items. Um, but it's pretty worth doing if, you, if you're not planning on going the mother path. So I might do that. Whoa, that was pretty cool. These enemies hit me all the time. I think now we're kind of looking for some luck upgrades. I'm going to quickly nip back to our shop real quick. Because now we have a Mr. Me charge. We might have to steal an item real quick. Uh, donation machines are replaced by mum dresser. Machines drop more coins. Beggars grant coins when giving an item. That's not all that good, to be honest. I'm gonna bomb you. I'm just gonna buy that. It's it's decent. It's not great, but this gets this gets uh, changed. It just says free coins on it. Nice. Right, go back this way. See, see if we can find an item room real quick. Our character is looking kind of insane right now. What on earth are these fellas doing? Ah, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. I understand now. Them, th them fellas are not to be trifled with. Get some dips here. Oh my god. We get a dime in there as well. I've got to decide now, though. Do I want to spend on the soul heart or keep the money for the next floor? I think I want to spend on the soul heart, to be honest. And holy water's good here. We'll... I would have rather had tech too, but holy water's pretty good here. I don't know, actually. I don't know. Um, Nightlight, honestly, not really that good. Uh, we don't have a bomb for the machine yet. I don't know what Mr. Me would do to it. He might bomb it, but I'm not going to take that risk. Let's go buy that soul heart. I'll come back if I get a bomb, but I'm not going to save one specifically for it. Grab that. Yeah, and then let's go... We might be able to use Mr. Me on another devil deal, if we even get a devil deal here. Because I think, because we used Mr. Me to steal it, I think technically we didn't actually um, take a devil deal, so we still have angel chance. But we have entered a devil deal, so we're still split. It's not all angel chance, but... It has changed a little bit. I will grab you as a dip, because why not? They are pretty helpful, to be honest. And then Holy Water just absolutely screwed me there. One of the Repentance Boss Champions here. I love this guy. People have mentioned, by the way, that Repentance Boss Champions uh, isn't compatible with Fiendfolia. Do not worry. I have a mod that makes it compatible. There, it, it does it does cause issues with Kidney of Infamy and Golden Plum that, from the Fiendfolia Champions. But other than that, everything else works as expected. Hey, this guy's a tough boss. It's a bit tricky. 
That, that corn flurry that he sends over is uh, particularly quite tricky, but whenever we get one of the Eye of the Occult shots on him, it, it kind of neuters that whole attack, so we're in the clear. We are in the clear. No Angel Deal or anything to be seen. I will take this. We did get damage. We got a Soul Heart. We lost range. and we, That was that was all around pretty damn good, that. Um, why not go to the mines? Why not go to the mines here? I enjoy the mines. I'm not trying to go for a Mother Run particularly, but I enjoy the mines here. I think it's all the fun. Curse of Creation. Um, but what's this Rainbow Disc do? I might want to go for this, to be honest. I know it seems weird, but we get Glass D8 and uh, gives 3 to 5 from... Oh, okay, okay. So we'll keep that for now. In fact, no, let's, let's just pop that. Oh, we got Planetarium items. Nice. Um, And yeah, I think having the Glass D6 is going to be pretty good. Oh, those chests can be shattered. Did not know that. Ooh, these bats are cool. Yeah, I'm gonna say, um, because basically, my thinking right now, and I, I'm sure you guys already probably understand where I'm going with this. I'm sure you guys have already seen the idea before I even did. Uh, but taking taking the glass D6 is really good because it's a it's a reroll. Um, but of course, we have Mr. Me, which means that. There really is no issue in us going back and stealing the other item. Like, we just go back to the item room and grab whatever the other random item was. Like, <laughs> it's it's as simple as that. And we got Taurus, which honestly isn't great, but we had high speed, so I don't mind it. And with Belly Jelly, it might be kind of decent, actually. Check what's in here. Okay, we lost our items. Uh, but da -da 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 -da. With one bomb and one key, that's not super useful. Let's let's see what else we get first. Oh no, now we now we're down to one speed because we lost one of our planetarium items actually. So it's not quite as good as it was as I thought it was, but it's decent enough. That was close to me walking into that mimic chest there. Although, do you know what? I could get an item from this that'd be useful. There you go. You see that? Taking damage grants the damage up. Beautiful. I was like, do you know what? I might. I was more so thinking of um, of an item that would help with Taurus. Ooh, hello. That was interesting. Yeah, I was more so thinking of an item that would help with Taurus. But we ended up getting... Um... How does this guy work exactly then? Do I just got to push it back at him? It looks to be the case. That's pretty cool. It's kind of, kind of like a little mini boss here. Hey, that's really cool. I like that. But yeah, um, let's just use this pill real quick. It's in the way. Shot speed down. I don't really mind that. Although shot speed is particularly quite low right now. I still don't really mind. Um, oh, hello. Let's try to use a pill. No, thank you. <laughs> no pill for you. Yeah, I was also thinking something that would work like belly jelly with Taurus. But honestly... Getting um, Lusty Blood or whatever it's called is, is pretty nice. Whoa, these guys are bonking up and down. Going crazy. Oh, they're getting sucked in, then like retracting back to the walls. That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's an interesting interaction between those enemies and the rifts. I didn't expect that to be the case. That's pretty funny. This guy's got uh, ev um, Evil Eye? Not Evil Eye. You know what I mean. <laughs> I love this curse where it like reforms the rocks. Ooh, we got one of these chests. Uh, give us some spicy keys. We don't really need spicy keys. I'm not going to keep keep on playing that for right now. Calm down. I really, I really like how much thought has been put into all these rooms. They've really been made very well with the enemy designs in mind. Break the egg. Hey, uh. Um... I think if we bomb this, we should get enough money to pay out that. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Break the egg. 
Don't know why. I just lost one of those soul hearts. I had less speed than I assumed I had. I was trying to move it to, to hit a secret room. Didn't work in my favor at all. Anyways. This fella. Ooh. Ooh, it's the shadow version of him. We're getting a good few champions this run around. I'm guessing he's going to be doing brimstoning quite a bit more often than he would normally. Taurus. You can hear the bloody belly jelly going off, but unfortunately, it ain't bonking this guy off the tracks anytime soon. Oh god. This, this boss is so difficult. I really love the design of it, but goddamn. This is one of those boss designs that I was so surprised, like, when it was in um, Anti-Birth originally. Yeah, this is taking quite some time, but eh, it's taking time. We don't really need it to be fast, do we? Good. I'm gonna do his thing. I really like this champion variant. It's got some very interesting attacks and stuff. And then when he dies, he bursts out into those. Beautiful. Hey, you got a bunch of bombs out of that. Nice. Definitely grab that for a black heart and some damage up, which we desperately needed. Okay, so Pact is good here. We'll take the Pact. And then I think we just try and steal this. I don't think it's a 100% success rate on Devil Deals, but I'll give it a go. There you go. Get a bit of flight going on. Very nice. And a speed up, which makes Taurus even better. Um, do you know what? I'm going to take these spicy keys. Um, just because I want to go and utilize the golden chests in this room up here. And that is exactly why. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so... Whoa, what's going on with all these fires? What on earth is causing all these fires? I really love that enemy design. Play a little catcher. He's kind of like a mini boss. He really is. Okay. I think because that gives us luck, I take both of these. Because luck is pretty important to us right now. Unfortunately, not a very good room, but there you go. I was planning on maybe re-rolling, but no. Anyways, I think we should head out, head out at this floor. Actually, 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 actually. Let's quickly go. And grab um, Chaos Room first. Why not? Then maybe we could look for Secret Room as well, actually. A theme. That's very good for us. Right about secret room, nice. Bunch of dips in here. Dips in a cart that look like they're having an absolute blast. Yukio card here. Spawns a justice. And a hanged man. Okay. We are good to go then. Uh, let's head out of here. Cool. But yeah, I've been calling those immortal hearts the whole time. Apparently they're immoral hearts. My bad. <laughs> no one pointed it out until recently, but yeah. My bad on that. Oop, okay. And yeah, we're good to go. Very fun floor so far. Okay, we're back. Let's go. Okay, where, where, where the hell are we? Okay, we can do this again. I love the fact that this guy can do this. It's so valuable. <laughs> like, this guy is like one of the best items. Oh, I did not, not, I did not realize that would start the boss fight. By the way, I have absolutely no idea what Greg the Egg is actually doing for us right now, but I love him. It's the best. World card, he is awesome. Let's use that. And we, <laughs> we just got the same the same champion Bumbino twice in a row. Sure thing, game. Sure thing. He honestly the key version of him, the one that we just got there, is by far the hardest version of him. But luckily, mainly due to Holy Water, actually, he wasn't that bad at all. Okay, that guy's got Spoonbender. Oh god. This guy's got Cursed Eye. Whoa, what the hell's this guy doing? Did he throw that little stern buddy at me? Oh, hello. Hello. You've got two trinkets for sale that I could smell. So let's let's bar let's let's give you that one. 
And let's buy that one and give you that one. See what you might smell as up. Flatworm. Eh. Increased knockback is actually pretty good. Let's go with that. I don't use that uh, the flatworm very often. By the way, our character is looking awesome right now. I don't use flatworm very often. Whoa. I've not seen the, the lava rooms much before. That looks awesome. Whoa. I did not expect him to jump out the lava. That's really cool. Really cool. Oh, thank you, Greg. Okay, that's what Greg does. He spawned a key for me there. Why, thank you, Gregory. Ah, shit. Ooh, wiggly snake familiar that chases after enemies inflicting poison and dealing damage on contact. Prioritize is chasing after enemies that are not currently inflicted with poison. Oh, we missed out on Ludo, but that... Okay, it's literally a snake. Cool. And we got this fella here, good for a bit of money here. Hey, yeah, a little bit of poison. I like it. Beautiful. That's really good. <laughs> That's a really cool familiar there. I, I kind of like these planetarium items that are a little bit more out there. Like, that's that's quite different to what you'd normally expect from a planetarium item, and I like that. Right. We still got this glass D6 that we haven't used yet. Okay, these little things, like, shoot at me. I think I've just got to turn them off. I'll get hit. Yeah, I've just got to turn them off. Dude, this guy, Greg the Egg, dropped me all sorts of stuff. I wonder if that scales to my luck at all, or how long I've had him or anything. I'm really not sure. I don't actually need to press the buttons here. Let's go to our cash room. We might as well. These guys lava droplets. Oh, God. Oh, damn it. I'm taking too much damage here. Oh, this is an insanely good room. What the hell hit me that time? So definitely pop that. <laughs> Bit pathetic on the payout on that, to be honest. Uh, we don't really need the spicy keys here. Okay, we'll leave that there. We did lose quite a lot of health there, but as you can see, we, we did gain damage out of it, so I don't mind. Ooh, that guy does like a mega explosion. I didn't really need to come to this big room here. I don't really know why I did. Honestly, it didn't end up being that hard anyways. It was laggy, but it wasn't that hard. Crack that. Extra black art. The music on this floor is funky. Really funky. Oh, this is this broken ash room <laughs> that just has an insane amount of money on it. Yeah, I really don't think that this room should be able to be affected by the whole um, fool's gold thing that we've got going on right now. I love that noise. Okay, this is getting a little bit more problematic. I hate the amount of flies this guy spawns. Yeah, that one was good. We just killed the whole thing within there. Okay, we're good, we're good. It's a bit painful to get that going, but we got it in the end. Get, did, did get a devil deal here as well, right? We did indeed, nice. Oh, we got this item, which is terrible. Rooms have a chance to spawn an adversary. Adversary is guaranteed to drop pickups. The adversary gets stronger each time it's defeated. Yeah, I think that's still terrible. Ooh, that's really good. We'll definitely take that. Um, I'm going to take it, though. Why not? It's it's bad, but it's it's extra stuff. And then I think we just leave. Uh, we will pop the lovers just because we'll get some uh, poops out of it. The lovers. Poops and mini Isaacs out of that one. Or maybe just mini Isaacs. I, I don't know. Uh, we've seen everything we need to see here. Let's go. It's a Necro 2. What the hell's this? Okay, there, there's the hammer. Maybe it got reworked. We got a D4 and a D10. I don't think I want a D4 this one, I'll be honest. I love this guy. A little burn tooth thrower, dude. Splits in, like, sort of splits into segments as you attack him. Um, Not quite sure what hit me there, but I guess I'll accept. Got a library here. This spawned more skulls back in. Which, I guess it makes me wonder. Can I kind of farm that up? Um.
can't remember what that book does. I need to do a run with that at some point. Honestly, let's just farm these up a little bit. Spawn a void blood machine. What the hell is that? What the hell? I have absolutely zero idea what caused that. Um... Soul of Mastema. Spawn an item from a random pool. Okay, let's let's just pop that. Yeah, we don't want that. Let's last D6 it. Nine lives is pretty good for us here. Wait, no, it's not. Bollocks. Nine lives is really bad for us here. I forgot about that. Oh my god. That was that was not good. Mistakes have been made. Time for D4. <laughs> Hope for the best. We got some pretty interesting stuff here, and we still have nine lives. Okay, I'm actually pretty impressed with how good our uh, our stats and stuff are here. Got some decent stuff going on. Knockout drops are doing well too. Okay, reasonably happy with this. Oh damn, that guy, that was a tinted rock there. I just panicked and was like, oh, we're at such low health. I realized we had nine lives, so we wouldn't have died. But still. Oh, we don't have flight anymore. Okay, okay, okay. Did not realize that for a second there. We still have um, the, the void shots. Which is really nice. We do unfortunately have, what's it called? Um, what the hell is it called? Guillotine. Just causing issues. Oh, we have BFF somewhere in there. We have little minx as well, who I kept calling little milk. Ow. I don't even know what's hitting me anyway. I, I, oh, there's a spiked rock there. Okay, this curse plus stompy effect is terrible. I like these rings of flies here. We done? We're done. The health is not looking so hot. Kamikaze is terrible. Yeah, I do not like having stompy in this situation. Nightshade's really good here. Got it straight away. Nice one. I can't figure out what the fuck my body is. Two in a row? Three in a row? Damn. Last one. Just ain't wanting to give us it. There you go. Three good items there, though. Three really good items. And I guess we'll just play into this the rest of the way. We got a random disc, nice. We got some sort of trinket here. Pop the random disc. Nice. Half eternal heart becomes full eternal heart. Eh, that's good, but we don't need that right now. Whoa, what the hell is that? That's a weird effect. Yeah, this active's so good. We must have really high luck. Yeah, we do. I was just about to say, like, what the hell's giving us all this luck? We do no longer have Mr. Me anymore, which is a bit of a shame. God damn, the, the rate at which it gives you spiked, um, spiked bloody rocks with this is so annoying. So many spiked rocks. Why is my body so teeny tiny as well? What the hell's all this going on? I don't know what's happening right now, but this reroll was was very good. This ended up being a really cool reroll to give us some really interesting items. Uh, we want to be taking Dark Path here. Right, let's go. Oh, Labyrinth, really nice. Oh, we got a Spin Down Shard there as well, I think. My body's so tiny. It's so hard. Like, especially with BFF, with all my familiars being massive, it's very, very hard to work out what the hell's going on sometimes. We got that curse again. Bugger. Absolute pain in the ass curse to get. With Stompy, at least. Not Normally, it's not so bad. It can definitely hurt you, but it's not terrible. It's definitely a good idea to increase the rate at which it brings the rocks back. It's not as slow as it used to be. I think before it wasn't wasn't a very threatening curse due to that. Now it's definitely more of a, a problematic one. Oh, that's a 
That's a great trinket for us if we could get it. Yeah, we get an, an additional stat up for having a curse. I wonder if that'd stack with multiple curses like our active does. Probably not, but. Ow. A dead body enemy just charges towards you. I'm so glad that these enemies changed a bit. The lump enemy's got a little bit of a changed animation. A little bit of a tweak that they kind of needed to make them a little more enjoyable to fight. They're still not that enjoyable to fight, but a little more. Still do need some more health, though. Health is still a concern here. Because we're still, we're still we're killing stuff fast, but there's still a lot of enemies we don't understand here. A lot of things that could go wrong because we don't know what, what's coming. Like, I can't remember what, enemy, what, what that enemy did. Yes, as our luck goes up from all the curses that we're getting from our active, the um, the amount of uh, shots we fire that are like knockout drops or whatnot just raises so much higher. So many more of the rifts as well. God damn, I went the wrong way again. The problem with the XL wound, it's just so hard to like figure out where the hell you're going. I mean, we're, we're blitzing through the, enemy, uh, the rooms, but I still would like to go the right way. Ah, oh, bugger. A really bad hit there on my behalf. I want my belly jelly back. Belly jelly was kind of saving us. God damn, look at the knockback. It's insane. Absolutely insane. A golden pill here? That could save us. I'm just going to spam it and hope for the best. Okay, I got a lot of health from that and putting it back down. I don't know what else happened, but I got a lot of health. I got up to the point where I'm happy. <laughs> Am I going the wrong way again? Can't bloody see anything. It's gotta be this way. Retrovision, why you gotta be like this? Okay, here we go, here we go. We're finally there. Yes, tonight, having a nice big freak night is going to be very, very good. I'm very excited. Uh, my mum and myself were cooking a lot of Greek food. I also made um, burger buns yesterday. I made some more today as well, but just turned out unbelievably fantastic. To the point of being just crazy. Like, they're better than anything that I, that I could have bought. <laughs> Which is just shocking. Take care of you. We're on our way. Ooh, what the hell? Is that a resprited void portal? We are good to go again. Yeah, there's a void portal here. Um, I'm actually kind of tempted. Like, I, I'm kind of tempted. Okay, we got Krampus. Just because we've got the power right now, and we haven't done a delirium run yet, from what I remember. Um, so I'm. I think I should, even though I realise that like I could get another one. But I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Like, why not? Seems it could be fun going to the void. Um, and also the new music, too. Oh, yeah, because I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of, um, like, different theme folio rooms that we're going to see along the way. So why not? Why not? And yeah, like I said, I haven't heard the music here either. I mean, I did just get hit a ton already, so not a great start. Well, I don't know. Yes, it could be a little fun. But yeah, I just uh, had to pause briefly to go and, um, I say finish, um, continue making the bread. I uh, had to, like, separate all the big loaf. We just, we just let the big sort of ball of dough uh, rise, and then we split it into six pieces. Well, I said six. It was meant to be six, but for some reason it made eight. Um, so we split it into eight pieces, and uh, we're just um, letting it rise again for another hour, and then we can uh, put it in the oven. Put some sesame seeds on top and stuff. It's going to be good. I'm excited. The music here is really interesting. It's kind of like a, like an amalgamation of a lot of the other tracks from what I can hear. Also the Delirium versions of the bosses are here. It's really cool. 
Fettered Heart is a great item to grab here. Yeah, um, it seems to be kind of like an amalgamation of the other tracks, which is really interesting. Like, it kind of makes sense for what this floor is, obviously. Got a Key Lord in here as well. You do you, Key Boy. You do you. You perish. <laughs> I like the way he's like so surprised when he dies. He's like, oh, what the heck? How'd you do this to me? Oh, dude, I thought you were going to go to the side of the room there for some reason. We just need some more health now. Little Horn is fantastic with the amount of luck that we're going to be getting here. Like, really, really good. Hello. I, I haven't... This is another thing as well. I haven't seen um, the Delirium sprites for the modded enemies yet, so... Uh, the modded uh, bosses, sorry, from Fiend Folio, so... It's going to be cool seeing some of them. Okay. But we got possessed. Nice. Oh, there's one more of you. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even see you. Okay, we've almost got our full stat bonus now. I think we need to do one more usage of our space bar and then we're good to go. Obviously, there's plenty of rooms to do it, so... We're looking good. Whoa, what the hell is this room? It's got, like, computer system rocks and stuff. I'm not fast enough for this enemy. What the hell? Yeah, it's literally an amalgamation of the other tracks. You can hear it. It's really cool. It's got a bit of glitchiness to it as well. They did a really good job of this. It very much fits the theming of the floor a lot. Beautiful. I'm a little worried about my health, I'll be honest. I think my health is uh, going to be a little bit of cause for concern here. We'll try not to think about that right now. Honestly, Fettered Heart is doing a great job too here. Rooms like this is the ones that scare me. But we have enemies that are invulnerable. Okay, we got our full we got our full bonus now. Rooms like this too are uh, equally as scary. You're like right in the way there, sir. Okay, I think I got you. I got you. Okay, we might die. We might die. Our losing streak may continue. But that's neither here nor there. Yeah. Seeing some of these wacky rocks and stuff, got some of the glitchy ones here as well. Corrupted rocks. That's really cool. What what the hell enemy is alive? Oh, you're like stuck in the corner there. But where the hell are the rest of our bosses though? I feel like I've been traveling for ages and not seen a single one. Is there another bot enemy in here? There might well have been. I never saw it. Okay, now we're just re-rolling our curses. We don't need to use our space bar anymore. We do have nine lives, which is, is going to help. We have to restart the fight. Whoa, this room's really cool looking. Oh, God. Have we got, have we got rooms moving around? Or is that just a lighting change there? Look at key graphics stuck inside that rock there. I'm getting so lost. <laughs> I can hear a phone ringing, but I'm not sure if it's outside of my room or if it's part of the track. <laughs> I w it wouldn't surprise me. What's stopping me from hurt this guy? <laughs> my girlfriend just came in and told me it was outside. I really wasn't sure. Um. Anyways, you might be able to hear it. I don't know. Right, let's keep moving through. It's kind of weird how many rooms we've just cleared and not seen a single boss. God damn, it's not one this way either. What is going on here? Oh, we should definitely open that for Soul Heart Chance. Ech. Like, yeah, what is actually going on? I just, I like as well with this, um, with it in the void, seeing all the different rock types and stuff as well. Are they little beasts? That's pretty cool. There's some new enemies here as well. Ow. Vengeful spirit, but I did get hit for it. 
Yeah, look at that. God damn, there must be like one area over here with just an insane amount of bosses back to back to back. Like, this is actually nuts. There's some charges in here. Honestly, the, the insta-kill shots are saving our life here. I am going to keep rerolling my curse, actually, because I want get to get rid of the curse that keeps reviving enemies. That one is getting on my nerves. Soy milk fella. Oh, god damn. This is a tricky room. Holy. We might die on this room. We did die on this room. I mean, we cleared it, luckily. So, not, not all bad, but... Really? This should be illegal for you to give me so little. Like, what, what the... <laughs> did we break this floor? Where are the bosses? This is nuts. This has to be the most amount of rooms ever cleared on the beast floor, on the uh, delirium floor, without actually seeing a boss. God damn the knockback on these guys. Pretty wacky. Excuse me, I am not a fan of this room. Damn it. I think we're gonna die. My life is helping out, but I don't think it's gonna see us through this. Where are the bosses? God damn. Stop reviving all these enemies, it's so annoying. Siren's Call could be decent here. Okay, here's two of them. Well, Pons, that is going to give us HP up, so I'll take it. Still haven't found him there. God damn, it's going to make us go all the way to the other side, to that one single uncleared room over there, isn't it? It's going to do it. I just know it. I could see it before it even happened. Oh, this, this could be Delirium, actually, though. Yeah, it is. Okay, nice. Okay. Whoa, the Delirium fight music's pretty wicked. There's so many effects going on because of how high our luck is right now. Oh, God. We're going to see some pretty insane damage, I think. I was going over that glitchy leg, though. Should get the stanky leg. Okay, with three hearts, I'd say this is plausible, but not, not guaranteed by any means. I think the amount of rifts we have going on is definitely going to help. But I don't know how much it's going to do. We, we did just rage that dude. I don't know if that helps us or hinders us. The knockback is also pretty damn fantastic, I'll say that. It's cool seeing the reworked versions of the bosses as well in the Delirium fight. Oh god, that guy's moving at lightning speeds. I don't know where the boss is anymore. Yeah, just keep an eye on the foot. Yeah, I said we've raged him, but I don't really know what that does for us. Might be negative, might be positive. Can't really figure that out. At least right now. Little horn. Ah, yeah, he's delirium again. Oh, when he's delirium, he has no boss armor, so we want to get to do as much damage as we can while he's in that form. And so far, pretty good. Like, we did a, we did a good amount there. <laughs> the, the knockback is making this significantly harder than it should be, though, I will say. Okay, we got him. That was a kind of crazy run, but we managed it in the end. We managed it in the end. Anyways, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Pretty weird run to go to Lyrium on, but we did it. And yeah, fun reroll and all that sort of good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.